Have you been experiencing these symptoms? Blowing away in a gust of wind. People accusing you of just being freshly off the show, naked and afraid. Are you the type of guy <laughs> The Rock could just pick up and just skull? It's a little much. Are you unable to lift boxes for your grandma because she weighs more than you? Great. You have come to the right place. Oh, my arms look like my sister's arms who fucking runs all the time. Here's the solution. You watch, keep watching, and I'm going to show you the solution. And also, what I, what I will show you is groundbreaking, but it has to come with eating a lot of food. Eat eggs, avocado, steak, oatmeal, protein powder in your oatmeal, yogurt, berries, fucking, I don't know, if you need to, if you're a little skinny, uh, ice cream, I don't know. I'm gonna show you how to train like someone who doesn't have puny ass fucking arms. That's what I'm gonna do. Is it harsh? Maybe. Necessary? Yes. If you're walking on the street, Channing Tatum comes up to you, comes up to your girl. It's like, what's up? What's up, Shawty? What are you gonna do? You're gonna stand there and look like a little bitch at 150 pounds? Or are you gonna pull out your fucking, or are you gonna roll up your sleeves and be like, come at me, motherfucker? Or is your girl gonna hop on him and be like, damn, look at his, look at his arms. He's like mad sexy. And it'll be like, oh, better go test my max bench 500. Might be a better outcome. Anyways, I'm yapping. Watch the video. Okay, welcome to How to Train Like It Matters. Um, here we have this fucking huge hunk of iron as the model for the video. Oh wait, it's me. Here's what you're gonna do. Watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna lift the weight up. Pause at the top. Pause at the top. Watch this pause. Boom. Feel the squeeze. Back down slowly. Up with the other arm. Squeeze. Back down slowly. It's all about that squeeze. That like half a second squeeze where your bicep feels like it's going to explode at the top of the rep is what's important. And you're going to be controlled. The top of the rep squeeze is one of the most important things you can do. And it's one of the things that sets you apart. You're not just flailing, throwing the weight around. You're squeezing at the top of the rep. Squeeze like Lana Rowe just said, yo, if you if you squeeze at the top of my rep, I'll take you out to dinner and maybe we can go back to my place. That's how hard you should be squeezing. And then when you fail, don't drop the weight when you can't go all the way up. Half rep it. People are like, Ooh, half reps are fucking terrible. They don't work. BS. Half reps, half rep it until your face turns red like the tomato from VeggieTales and you're gonna get a crazy squeeze, crazy pump, more than you ever will if you did not half rep. And now we're on a hammer curls. I cannot stress how much, how amazing hammer curls are. These blow up your forearms, blow up your biceps. I swear I never saw, I didn't see that much progress until I started ripping these till failure. Do 10 sets if you want to, I don't care. You're gonna have the craziest pump of your life. I have terrible lighting where I am. I look like you, and you can still see definition from the hammer curls. My arms look thick as fuck. It's like a, it's like a baguette right there. It's like French season's delicate delight. That sounds like something, I don't even know what that is. But do these in the same way, do half reps until you're red and dying and about to pass out and your arm's about to explode because that's how you see progress. Yeah. All it takes is three exercises and you gotta actually push yourself hard. Like I feel like y'all are just slacking. Slacking, you're slacking right now. Laying there, slacking. Look at that shit. Iron. Do it how I told you, holding the stretch. And that's what gives you some more definition. Look at that. Oh my, yeah. Results show, results show. Look at my arms in this picture, tiny. Now look at that, look at that. I'm not even flexing. That's just pure beef. That's beef pancakes. Three exercises, that's all it takes. Squeeze at the top, hold on to it, and just continue to do that. You should be dying at the end of your thing. You should be doing your sets where you're like, ah, 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 until like, this is the most you can get, is right here. It's the farthest you can come up at the end of your set, because there's nothing left. That's what you should be doing in your training. You gotta be doing your set so hard that you sound like Michael Jackson going, hee hee, at the end of your shit, because of how bad your bicep hurts. How much tension, bro. There should be more tension on your bicep than a picking ceremony at Love Island finale, bro. There should be more tension than Chris Brown and Rihanna in the same room. 
there should be so much tension that you can do nothing but grow. I mean, come on.